Hey guys, what's up? You're watching Get Gaming, and in this video, I want to talk to you guys about Avengers 2, otherwise now known as Avengers Age of Ultron. So I'm just voicing over a Call of Duty match I just recently did, a uh, team deathmatch on Hanoi. And when I used to play Call of Duty like every day, I suck, and now that it's been a long time, I still suck. So uh, yeah, it might be a little tough for you guys to watch. But anyways, let's get in right to talking about Avengers. So first thing I want to say is that they really tricked us, because as we all know, at the end of Avengers 1, they show us Thanos so we're all like oh Thanos is gonna be in the second one although I didn't actually think that but like I kind of just assumed it but I was like I don't know if they're gonna actually do that because like that seems kind of hard to set up and I mean like Thanos right in the second one like I barely knew who he was like I just remember seeing him on like covers and stuff but I didn't really know who he was but uh yeah so now we actually found out that they're doing Ultron second which I think is a sweet idea and uh actually someone from AMC theaters like they, I'm pretty sure that's the YouTube channel they do like podcasts all the time and the one guy actually brought it up it was a great idea it's a great point where do you they can't do Thanos second really where do you go from there like you can't do like Loki and the Chitauri Thanos and then like where would you go like now we know we have Ultron but I mean like if we did Ultron last that order would feel really weird so doing Ultron second is really sweet because not that Ultron's not powerful but like Thanos is like a cosmic being and like that's just insane and like with his with him being cosmic Fantastic Four, Cosmic Rays, I mean, I don't know if they're going to keep that origin for the Fantastic Four reboot, but the Fantastic Four prob- like, they really should be involved if there's going to be Cosmic things going on. Whether or not their origins are in Cosmic things, that's just what we know the Fantastic Four for doing. Which, I don't think they're going to get rid of. Cosmic Rays, come on, that's the best idea there is. So, uh, yeah. Age of Ultron coming second. I really like that idea. Um, they're also going to have to change it from the comic series because, like, I haven't read it all. I've only read up to the number five. I need to get six, seven, eight. I have nine and ten. I know, it's a weird order. But, uh, yeah, so I haven't finished it, but I heard it's pretty good. And obviously they can they can't do exactly what the comic is like. It's probably just it's probably mostly just gonna share the title and the main villain. Cause it's definitely an Ultron origin story. I doubt they're gonna do it where it's like Ultron has taken over the world. One reason because I think that just be too much and it wouldn't really work for the movie. But the main reason is because Ultron over takes over the world, all the Marvel heroes are gonna be involved. Spider-Man the rights to him are at Sony, X-Men, the rights to them are at Fox, and then Marvel has pretty much got all the rest of them. I'm pretty sure that's right. So it's like, they can't really do like what, what, like what the comic did. With, they can't do what the comic did, because that's just like, I mean, maybe they, maybe Josh, we, Josh Whedon could find a way of pulling it off, but I just don't think that's the direction he's going to go. I think they're just going to be taking on Ultron. And plus, Hank Pym isn't even in it, Ant-Man, the original creator of Ultron. So they're going to have to change the origins there. So I doubt they're even going to go with the comic one. I'm pretty sure it's just going to share a title and obviously a villain. But one thing that got me thinking, with the, uh, with... Age of Ultron ending. It started off with Hunger Number One, where Galactus is going into the Ultimate Universe. So the Galactus 616, and the 616 universe is the main Marvel universe. He is eating through into the Ultimate Universe. Now this brought up something that really got me thinking: the Ultimate Universe. So by the time Avengers 3 is done, it's probably going to be 2018, maybe 2020 at the latest. So now it's been like 10. 12 years since the first phase one Marvel movie, Iron Man 1. So it's like, not that I'm saying that they need to be rebooted or like they're gonna lose their like pizzazz of, of intriguing people to watch Marvel movies, but I mean like at a certain point you have to reboot it. Because now all those people who saw it are getting old and all these new kids are coming up and they're like, they've never seen it before, they've never seen Iron Man 1, so you gotta switch things up. So this idea I just had was that once they finish Avengers 3, maybe not reboot the Marvel 616 and like retell all the stories, but now they start telling from the Ultimate Universe, so they could do like Ultimate Spider-Man, Ultimate Avengers, and all that. Like the new Spider-Man, Ultimate Spider-Man is a black Spider-Man, and that would be a great idea for a movie, and who knows, maybe they could even do Spider-Man. Spider-Men. Like, that'd be a sick movie. So, yeah, I want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe, like my video, and check out my main channel, and check out a prank video that I did with my friends a little while ago. Thank you guys for watching. See ya. Oh, yeah, tell me what you think in the comments below about Avengers 2, Avengers 3, or maybe Ultimate Avenger, Ultimate, Ultimate Marvel movies. So, like, Ultimate Spider-Man stuff. All right, guys, thanks for watching. See ya.